Spotify is a new and powerful Blender add-on that allows you to create amazing simulations of crowd of insect animations in a short period of time. You can do this easily and with a high degree of control using many settings and controls that allow you to get the result you are looking for. This add-on is a great tool for adding unique bug effects. It can be especially handy when working on VFX shots and animation shots where there is a need to create moving insects, whether it be flying ones such as a flying locust, crawling ones such as spiders in the background, or even close-up shots because the insect assets are well designed and they are well textured as well. In addition to that, they look great both in Cycles and Eevee. There are also other assets in addition to other ones that might be included in the future releases. The add-on comes with different assets and intuitive user interface menu. It provides the ability to add various creature void particle systems with animated 3D assets attached. This will save you a lot of time and effort if you are planning on including bugs or insects in your shots. To start using the add-on, you just need to go through four simple steps. First, you need to check the boxes for the bugs you want to be included in the board system. This will allow you to choose the proper bug or insect that is going to be generated in your scene. Second, name the board system. This is very important to remember because if you don't, it will most likely give you an error message, which can be a problem if you don't realize where it is coming from. Number three, choose whether you want the bugs to have a goal to follow. And finally, add the bug system to your scene. Also, you need to make sure that you have selected geometry in your scene for collisions, whether it be a simple plane, a table, or a wall, or something like that. When you play the animation, you will see the bugs crawling and moving around the surface, usually towards the goal. Some of the things you can do include changing the size of the emitter, which will allow you to distribute the generated bugs differently across the surface. In addition to that, you can move the goal around to see the bugs moving accordingly to follow it. After the board system is added, you can dial in more specific settings and make the system movements with the particle system panel built into Blender. From the settings of the add-on, you can control many things. For example, from the void brain settings, you can prioritize few things that include the goal, flock, or the ability to separate the bugs. As a result, you will see the insect's movement and behavior change according to that. And in order to see the effect taking place, you need to rebake the cache, which will not take more than a few seconds depending on the number of bugs and the power of your machine. You can also do other stuff, including changing the size and the randomness of the distribution and the size of the bugs across the surface. Besides, from the movement tab, you can decide how fast the bugs are, their maximum speed, acceleration, in addition to many other settings you can control. If you are interested in this add-on, I highly recommend checking it out. Links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.